All right, what's hatching on the river? Midges, betas, PMDs, just general nymphs. You got to have some mayhems in your box. Fly fish food. All right, so this is a super simple fly that you can tie a whole bunch of to fill up your box. I just have a normal standard size 20 hook in the in the vise. Um, just choose your favorite straight shanked hook and it will do. Um, I'm just going to dress the body with thread. And the tail on this one's super simple. It's just a little bit of gray antron. Now if anything's going to make this fly kind of ride goofy in the water, it's, it's a tail that's too full or a shuck that's too full. So I'm literally grabbing like six to eight fibers of antron and that's what I'm going to use for the tail. So I'll take my thread almost to the thorax area and I'll trap those fibers and wrap those down. So that is pretty much the tail and body of the fly. I'm going to trim those off nice and sparse. The body on this is just going to be gold wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wire and lay it on kind of the hook shank about to where the thorax begins and I'll just use some touching turns to go all the way up to the thorax area and then I will wrap that with gold wire. Once I get to here, bend the wire back against itself and helicopter and it should pop right off. Alright, at this point I'm just going to take some of this uh, razor foam. This is, when you buy a razor foam you get a sheet of 0.5 millimeter and also 1 millimeter. And I'm just going to take some of the 0.5 millimeter, cut it pretty thin. I don't know, I'm just eyeballing it here, but I'm guessing this is about the same width as the hook gap. Close. And this is the opaque uh, gray color. You can tie them in with tan or white or whatever color foam you want over the top. Now, a lot of people will look at this and say, well, why are you putting foam on a nymph pattern? Well, this much foam is not going to help your fly float at all. Um, so it's not going to be that big of a deal. All right, once we're here, I'm going to grab a, a piece of peacock. Now this is a peacock eye that's fairly used. Um, the feathers that are closest to the eye have really big peacock, big uh, barbs coming off each feather. And that's not what you want. So I'm going to pull from down here closer to uh, the base of the peacock feather because these feathers down here have a little bit smaller barbs. And I'm only going to take one of those. So I'm going to take that peacock feather and, you know, if you want to speed this up, you can just use dubbing. You can do a lot of different things. But I'm going to use peacock because that's what the original calls for. And before I lay that peacock down, I'm just going to hit it with a little bit of head cement uh, or super glue, whatever you want. It's just going to make the fly a little bit more durable. And I'll wrap that peacock and leave a little bit of space behind the eye. Now I'm using UTC thread, it's a flat thread, and I kind of want to cord it up a little bit because I don't want these thread wraps to to be too wide. So I'll just do a few turns and then just pop the peacock off. You don't need to get your scissors involved in this transaction at all. Alright, so a lot of guys will just omit the legs on this fly, you just pull this over, whip finish it, and go fish it and it catches fish, and that's fine. But because we're staying true to the original that Solitude puts out, we're going to add little hen hackle legs to it. So I'm just grabbing, you know, this is my hen hackle. Um, I'm just going to grab a few of these fibers, maybe five or six fibers. Don't count them, just grab what looks good. 
and I'm just going to tie a few of those on each side of this thorax. This is the hardest part of this fly. So I've got some legs tied on one side and once I have them tied in, if they're a little long, I can adjust those. See how it looks when I pull the thorax over. That looks pretty good. So we'll just do that on the other side. Okay, so I've got those legs tied in and I'll just come up here and maybe put a, a turn or two underneath those just to lock them in. I'm going to hold hold that in place with my fingers real quick and then I'll trim those off. Alright, so from here just spread out those legs where you want them to go and pull the, the wing case over the top just with minimal wraps. As you can see I'm only tying those legs in with a few wraps and the, the wing case in with a few wraps and from here I'll just go straight to a whip finish just a three turn whip finish is fine because I'm gonna hit it with some head cement to keep it durable and then you don't need to get super tight with this foam I'm just gonna come in here and uh, just kinda rest it on the eye of the hook and trim it off like that I didn't get it very straight so there we go so anyway, that's the Mayhem. It's a really great pattern for midges, betas. Make sure you check out the recipe in the collection below. There will be a link. Um, if all else fails, just go visit us at flyfishfood.com to find everything that your wildest dreams have told you you needed for fly tying and fly fishing.